my name is Krissa, and if you're looking for fun things to do in Central Florida and beyond, then you've come to the right channel. Today I'm going to be going over one of my favorite Christmas displays, and it's located right here in Central Florida. The Christmas lights in Mount Dora are considered some of the best in the state and it's located just an hour north of Orlando. Every year this charming historic town celebrates the holiday season with over 2 million lights throughout the downtown area. We came last Saturday and if you are planning on coming here over the weekend then I recommend coming here at least later in the afternoon and just plan on spending the afternoon and the evening here. There are definitely plenty of things to do and see in the downtown area. It's filled with unique shops and restaurants. You'll want to take your time walking in and out of every single unique shop that's there. A lot of them are small businesses. So if you're looking for the perfect little area to support local small businesses, this downtown area is stuffed with them. The restaurants in the area are pretty notable as well, so if you're a foodie and you want to try out some of the best local restaurants in the area, then definitely check out some of the restaurants in the downtown Mount Dora area. If you do end up coming a little bit closer to dusk, be prepared that you're going to have a hard time trying to find a parking spot. The city of Mount Dora is pretty well known in Central Florida for its arts and crafts festival, so it's no surprise that the Christmas lights in Mount Dora are also pretty popular. You could spend 20 to 30 minutes in this area just driving around trying to find a parking spot. There really isn't a lot of public parking in the area, so the easiest thing to do is to just go down one of the side streets a few blocks off the main road of Donnelly and just walk into the main area. If you are able to come here during the week, I highly recommend it. It's going to lessen the crowd and allow you to really enjoy the shops and restaurants a bit more. When you do arrive, one of the first areas that you're going to want to explore is Donnelly Park. It's right on the main intersection of Mount Dora, which is 5th and Donnelly, and it's going to be where most of the Christmas lights are located. This entire park is beautifully decorated with over 2 million lights, and there's no charge to walk through it. So enjoy this area for as long as you want with your family. If you walk down Donnelly Street even more, all of the Christmas storefronts are beautifully decorated with Christmas decor, and during the Christmas season, a lot of them stay open later to accommodate the Christmas crowds. If you're looking for the famous singing Christmas tree, you'll find it down 4th Avenue at Sunset Park. It's one of my favorite things in this downtown area, and as you can tell, it's a pretty popular place. The tree plays a number of different Christmas hits with synchronized lights, and it can get pretty crowded in this small area, especially if you're coming here during the weekend, so be prepared. While you're here, do not forget to walk along the lake towards the lighthouse. It's one of my favorite Christmas displays, and it's actually believed to be one of the largest private displays of Christmas lights in Central Florida. The owner of the Mount Dora Boating Center and Marina has been putting up this Christmas display for 24 years. There's only one night where they allow the public into the interior of the display, and it was actually this past Saturday, December 5th. It's the only time that the owners allow people to walk within in the interior of the display to help collect toys for Toys for Tots. So you had a choice of being able to bring an unwrapped toy or donate cash to walk inside. And if you catch it one year, I definitely recommend it. This display is just amazing and I love visiting it every year. So even if you don't get a chance to walk inside, walking around the exterior of this display is just as awesome. Last Saturday, we also got a chance to check out the Christmas Lighted Boat Parade. This fun parade gathers a bunch of small boats that are lit up with festive Christmas lights and they continue up the shoreline around the lake. They do this every single year, so if you want to catch the parade, you can head to the shoreline anywhere between the Mount Dora Lighthouse all the way up to Tveries.
There are a ton of other Christmas events that happen throughout the downtown Mount Dora area. So even if you didn't get a chance to make it last weekend, there's always other events that you can go to and enjoy. Just make sure to check out the city calendar before you head out there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Mount Dora during the Christmas season. If you found this information helpful, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe if you would love to see more ideas on what you can do here in Central Florida and beyond. If you're interested in seeing what other Christmas displays there are here in Florida this year, make sure that you check out this video on Christmas lights in Daytona Speedway. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have an amazing Christmas season and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.